Hello everyone, welcome back for the second video tutorial for regular expressions. For this video, we are going to turn our understandings into the implementations. Um, in this case, I am going to copy part of this data and we're going to use this as the data sample for node rate involvement. So let's say if I want to copy this. Okay. Now, in order to use node rate environments for Legra expressions, we can use JavaScript in this case. So we need a function block. We need an inject to trigger this flow and the debug to show the output. All right. Now, in here, what we are going to do is we are going to form the data first. So the data will have um, the following structure. So we're going to have a single number right here. And what we need is a pattern to tell we want to search for a specific data. So in this case, we want to have result equal to data.match. Keep in mind that in JavaScript, all the variable belong to the types of text can call function match. Inside the match is going to be the patterns. So I'm going to say patterns. And our patterns is another variable. All right, now the pattern that we want to do is we want to match this single together first without anything else. So we are going to have this directly. Okay, now let's see what happened. So we're going to say that the result is equal to this. So we're going to say msd.payload will be equal to our matching result. Now let's try to see what would be the output. So by doing this, we get the output right away. So this is the most basic, um, the easiest pattern that you can have. Now imagine that we want to map one, two, three, nine different digit number. So is it possible to do it like this? As we learned, we use backslash D and brackets, and then we put, let's say, uh, we are matching nine different digit. All right, now let's try it again. You can see that the output is null. Okay, so in this case, to fix this, we're gonna have to remove this one. But whenever you remove it as the text, it's going to complain saying, no, this is not possible. Because whenever you want to use any regular like, like expression pattern in JavaScript, we use it by saying, this is the beginning, this is the end. That's the patterns. And inside the pattern is, what we actually want to do, like backslash D and matching nine number. All right, that's the result. One more time. So whenever you work in JavaScript, so we use backslash to denote the beginning of the patterns and this another backslash uh, slash to no denote the end of the patterns. If you don't have anything in between, it's going to complain that this is not possible. So make sure that you have it done correctly. Now in here, we're gonna expose options in here. So we're gonna say that this start with digit, including three digit here. And uh, we're gonna need to have dash, backslash, and then three, another dash, backslash D, and three together. Now see what happened. As the result, it also can match our data. All right. Now, what if I have two number together? Let's say two, one, 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 two, three, one, two, three, four. You can see that we have now two different uh, number here, uh, two different two different set of data here. Now, if I keep using the same thing, is it possible to match the second data? As you can see, not possible because you're going to have to tell the patterns over here that you want to match the multiple lines or multiple patterns. Now, if it already discovered the first match, it's going to ignore the things after that. So to tell that, please match every patterns that we have in the data, we put G after slash. And in this case, as you can see, it's going to give us the array of two numbers that match what we have. Also, you can put to support a subsequent patterns that we did together. So it's going to be 0, 2, 1, 2, 3, 
one, two, three, four. And in our data right now, we're going to need to also support parentheses. So in order to support parentheses, we put backslash open parentheses. And this is going to be option. After the, uh, the first di two digit here, we're going to need to also say backslash and then closing um, parentheses and question mark. So this is to support this bracket. And this is to support this opening bracket here. Now, the only concern that we have right now is because in the previous example, we have three digit for both of the, of the data, data set here. But over here, we only have two. So we're going to need to modify this a little bit to match our patterns. So we say two and three, meaning the dead digit over here, at least two digit, and at most three digit. So let's go ahead and see if this is working. So click on it. Now we got three different output. All right. You can also um, continue this matching. So I'm going to put this for another example. So that's going to be uh, for email address. Let's say I want to have to match Andy for at gmail.com. So in this case, um, let's say we want to match this. The most easiest way is to match the whole thing together. All right, um, see if this is working. All right, so it's working. So now we match the data. But what if I want to say that um, all the Gmail. So when I say if it is all the Gmail, it could be something like caddies at gmail.com like this. And if I use the same static one, it's going to match only the first data here. So we're going to have to modify this a little bit. So let's go for this together. So we say that we want everything before at side here to be the number of collectors. If that the case, we say backslash W. And if you remember in our reference over here, if you want to add zero or more, then we put star. But if we say it's supposed to be at least one, so we put plus. Okay, so in this case, we say we want to have at least one number or one collectors before the add size, then you're going to need to use plus. But if you would allow nothing before add size, then you put star. We're going to come up, come back with this pattern together, but for now, Let's see if this is working. As you can see, it matched both of this. Now, if I have another one here at gmail.com and I use plus, see what happened. It's going to match us to output. But as soon as you change that plus sign to be star, meaning it could be nothing or more than one. So in this case, as you can see, it matched the third one as well. Okay, now let's take a look at another requirement saying, okay, we want to make sure that the first character is always uppercase letter. In this case, you cannot just simply use, uh, okay, I'm going to remove this because in the real life, nobody uses something like this. Okay, we cannot just say, okay, backslash and star because it's going to match only collector and number, but we want the first collector to be uppercase as well. So in this case, what we should do is we're going to have to say, oh, that is based on our reference over here. In our reference, you can specify things in here in the collector set. So we use scrap blackhead to define collector set. And the first collect, we only need one single collector set here. And it's supposed to be uppercase letter. So imagine that if I keep this to be just K, and then I use a to C, meaning all the a lowercase letter, okay? And then followed by uh, either collector or number. So in this case, let's see what would be the output. It's match Andy 14 and this one. Now compiling this to here is that <clears throat> we now saying that uh, it we match lowercase followed by this one, and it doesn't specify how many collector, huh? So in this case, so um, the word caddy is going to ignore this, but it's found that this one is A to C. 
and also after this is any collector or number okay if you want to also support big k in here then you're gonna need to say uh, we only need one single collector here so we're gonna have to put single collector is the plus okay one collector plus or if you say that uh, Ajahn, we, we are going to have one exactly one so we do it like this but we say it's going to support both A to C and A to C like this so in this case let's take a look at the output now it supports both lowercase and uppercase collectors alright okay now um, and then what else if you say it's supposed to include at least one single collectors okay that would be your assignment imagine that okay if I want to say the email the email contain at least one capital letter start by capital letter and has um, meta collector has one meta collectors like this this or this okay so in this case okay I think this should be a good exercise for you to see if you can come up with this idea to let your patterns contain at least one capital letters and um, start with capital letter and has one metadata in your email see if you can make this happen alright so hopefully for this video tutorial it would allow you to use Noteblade to, uh, um, to take control of regular expressions matchings and see the result keep in mind that the result is the list of output in this manner okay thank you for watching